For those of you who watched my video earlier this week, you'll know that Fusnut was postponed due to a bug involving the critters you have to kill to get one of the bots to come along on the parade. Fortunately, that has now been fixed. Fusnut came back online yesterday, and it appears to be stable. I've done about three or four of the events at time of recording this, and everything seems to be running as it should be. If you do have any problems that you've noticed though, feel free to leave them in the comments, because I'd be interested in here. But yes, the event now will run until June 9th, so you've got a little less than two weeks to go through the event. It was initially just a week, but obviously, because of a delay, they've decided to extend it a bit. On top of that, their goodwill has gone far enough that we will receive a free bundle of Atom Shop items on Tuesday the 2nd. So if you go on to, into the Atom Shop from Tuesday 2nd, don't know how long they'll stay in there for, but from that date, so from next Tuesday, there should be a bundle of Atom Shop items which you can get for free. We don't know what the bundle is, no idea if it's new stuff or if they're just grouping together some old things, but Tuesday we will get some stuff for free in the Atom Shop. Now that I've explained Fusnut is back, let's actually talk about what it is. So, F the Fusnut Parade and Fusnut Week, this is a public event which takes place at Helvetia. Helvetia just located a short way southeast of Vault 76, and an even shorter distance, kind of almost directly east from the whole Overseas Camp and Sutton area. So it's early forest location. Also, because it's a public event, when it goes live, you will be notified and be able to fast travel there for free. The event goes live every hour on the hour, so it's very easy to keep track of, and also means I need to record this quickly, because there's another event coming soon. So yeah, you can do this every single hour on the hour, nice and simple. To start off the event, you need to talk to the one Mr. Handy, I almost said Mr. Gutsy is not quite that violent, the one Mr. Handy, someone will likely do this for you before you get the chance, but speak to him after the public event starts, and he'll tell you to find five bots, and you need to help them with their tasks. These are all Protectrons, who are themed around certain old-timey kind of tasks. There's a historian who wants you to find uh, steins of, you know, beer steins all around the map. There's a woodcutter who needs some wood and stuff. There's a butcher who needs intestines, which was what the whole credit thing was about. They're all fairly straightforward tasks for you to get on with. Now, after you've done all these tasks, the bots will arrange themselves in a little formation, and then you just march around the entire circuit of the town with them. Keep in mind they are Protectrons, so they're fairly slow, so don't expect them to just go sprinting ahead. During this, you will have two fights on the route. First one is against some Rad Toads, and is very easy, like, as long as you're paying attention and have some other people there, you shouldn't have a single Rad Toad harm the, bot harm the bots. On the second one, there are Super Mutants, and this is one to be slightly more careful of, as a couple of Suiciders will spawn. If they get close to the bots, they'll do serious damage, so... As long as you got lots of people, probably going to be fine, but do keep an eye out for those super mutant suiciders, they can really mess up your day. Now at the very end of the parade, the bots will line up, and there will be one final fight. This will be a few wolves and bugs charging along, make sure to get rid of them, and then there will be a legendary legendary one star mega sloth who will spawn slightly back. He's normally behind one of the buildings, so just get a shot in, try to obey legendary etiquette and call people over but no doubt someone will just go in with a ridiculous OP gun and destroy it, but don't worry too much, it always seems to spawn as a 1 star and a level 20, so for most players you're just getting scrapped from it. Once all these enemies are dead, you simply need to light the bonfire, just head over and activate it, and then the event will be completed, and you'll get your rewards. So, guaranteed rewards for no matter how many bots are alive, as long as you deal all of that and were able to light the bonfire, you will get 60 caps and 2 treasury notes, providing you've done the whole Wastelanders questline. If you haven't done the Wastelanders questline, I don't think you get treasury notes to drop. Additionally, the very first time you complete Fustout Week, you get plans for the Beer Stein's display case and the Souvenir Beer Stein. These also are not tradable, so make sure to just learn them and then have them. These are guaranteed the first time you do it, and then you won't get them after that. There's also various camp rewards themed with Fustnacht, and recipes for Fusnuck Donut and Fusnuck Sausage. So you'll get like random plans here and there, all good stuff. I believe there's there's about 29, 30 different plans and recipes you can learn which are just generic things, but they're all kind of unique to this event I believe. The stuff that's really what you're here for though is the headwear. So there is common headwear, which is made up of the soldier mask, 
Toothy Man Mask, Witch Mask, Giant Mask and Owl Mask. There's then the uncommon headwear, which is the Jester, Sun, Skull and Goblin Masks, plus the Fosnocked Berry, which I actually got last year and is kind of snazzy. And then finally there's the rare masks, which are Raven, Deathclaw, Winterman, Crazy Guy, and a bit of a special one, the Father Winter Helmet, which apparently is a T45 based power armor helmet. I have not actually seen this one yet, but I'm looking forward to see what it's like because that is very unique. Now obviously you're going to want the rare masks, but in order to get rare masks you need all five of the bots to survive. If you only have one or two of the bots survive, then you can only get common masks. If you have three to four bots survive, then you can end up with common or uncommon masks. If you have all five bots survive, you could end up with a common, uncommon or rare mask. So keep all the bots alive, then you'll get the better masks. Additionally, you'll get a legendary at the end of this. If there's one to two bots alive, it'll be a one star. Three to four bots, it could be a one star or a two star. And five bots could be a one star, two star or three star. So basically, keep the bots alive. Don't let the enemies get near them. And that is all you need to know for Fastnacht. Uh, for those of you wondering where the scavenger run is, that's my no crafting challenge run, then she has been delayed till tomorrow because I wanted to get this up today. So she'll be there tomorrow, stream on Sunday where we'll obviously be doing some fast knock parades, and I hope you all have fun and good luck to you all on getting those rare masks. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel to stay up to date with all Fallout 76 news and just have some fun, and check out the Discord if you need people to group up with. Follow me on Twitter if you want to hear my random ramblings. And that's how I do an outro. Sarge out.